Welcome back to Blue Collar Coder. Today, we're going to jump into something that I've probably been wanting to do since 2014, come to think about it, when I first started working with React. And that's to dynamically load components in, a, in the truest possible sense, not in the bundle, not bundle split out. I mean entirely separated components from the app and then invoke them. So the way that we're going to do that, the way that we're going to get there is we're going to build a social network feed UI. And that UI app is going to request a feed from the server. And that feed is going to have an array of items in it. Each one is going to have some data. For example, like a post item would have the title and the body of the post. An image item would have an image uh, URL that would then need to display. And also in that feed data is going to be the component that the server wants us to use to render that page. Not the code, just the name of it. And now normally, right, we would just have that baked into the app. And you just say, okay, cool, this is a post component, we'll use this component. This is, a post, this is an image uh, item, so we'll use this component. No, no, no. This time we're going to use ECMAScript modules to go and dynamically on the page load that code and invoke it. So there's all kinds of cool stuff in this one. There's ECMAScript modules, there's Rollup, there's externalizing React, and it's all in this video. So come on along, let's jump into the code and stick through it all the way to the end. I know you're gonna like this one. First thing we're gonna do is de-get this React Rollup starter project I created. So this thing has Babel in it to transpile that React and roll up to build the React. So let's have a run with it. And there you go, nothing too impressive. So the HTML looks like this. And then there's this simple React component over here. On the roll up side, we have the input file, then the output, which is right now in common JS. And finally, the plugins, which basically represent the flow. So you replace any reference to node env, and then babble it, and then resolve any modules, and then package it as common JS, and then finally run a server with live reload. First thing I'm going to do is change the port to 2000. So next, let's externalize React. So I'll bring in UMD versions of React and React DOM onto the page as script tags. And now we can see that those are downloaded, but the bundle is still very big because we're not actually using them. And React and React DOM are now on window. Cool. So we need to get roll up to look there on window instead of in node modules. And to do that, we'll bring in this external globals plugin and configure that to look for React and React DOM on window. All right, let's check it again. And there it is, a 671 byte bundle. Oh my God, that's awesome. Okay, now uh, to make this look pretty, I'm gonna bring in Material UI. And with that, I'll bring in these cool components. Oh, and I've gotta put that in an externals map as well. Now let's make ourselves a little simple header. And then use it. Ah, it's looking pretty good already. Okay, so let's get to work on the feed. Now I'm just going to create a simple JSON file for that. And we'll write a single post that has a title, a body, and a reference to the component that we will call post. And now I've got to go get that and put it into state. Let's just make sure it got that data right. And it did, looking good. Okay, so that's been cool so far. We've got our app. It's downloading the feed. It's also externalized React, React DOM and Material UI. The next thing to do is build our post component. Okay, back into it. Let's start off by creating a directory for that post component and then de-get that same rollup template into it. 
This time I'm going to use 2001 for the port. And then I'm going to modify the output format to an ECMAScript module. And of course, bring in those externals. And now we can make our post component. And this is going to be pretty simple with just a title and a body using that material typography that looks really nice. All right, let's fire this up. Oops, got to install it. Oh yeah, and add that externals plugin. All right, looks like we're good to go. And here is that bundle. Wow, man, that is like nothing. Looks pretty clean. Mostly just transpile JSX. Let's head back to the feed app and see if we can get that dynamically loaded. So we're gonna create an object that holds all of the React components where the key is the name of the component type. Now we'll write the import code. And once we have it, we'll set that components object. Let's try it out. And here is where you run into a problem. So common JS, which is what it's in right now, wants to handle that import. So we need to change the feeds rollup configuration to be an ECMAScript module. And then we need to change the script tag, so we're importing it as a module. All right, now we have the second problem, which is that the server on port 2001, which is giving us that post component, is not handling cores. So let's fix that. And now it runs clean. All right, let's try it out. Oops, a wrong variable name there. And look at that. It works. It looks simple, but it's actually really pretty amazing. We're dynamically loading a React component that shares the same React library, but it is not in the same project. That is super cool. All right, so let's now use that feed data to dynamically build that list. We first need to get the React component. And then if we find it, we render it with the item data. And there you have it. Let's make a change to the data to see if it comes through. And it does. All right, now let's go make a change to the post component to see if that comes through. And that does too. All right, we've got our post component all buttoned up. Everything's working good. Uh, it doesn't make much sense just to have one of those things. So let's go and build an image component and get the feed to recognize that as well. All right, so the first thing to do when we build our image component is to have an image for that. So let's go bring in this cute puppy. Now let's duplicate that post directory and let's implement an image component that gets that URL. And finally, let's change the port over to 2002 and remove some stuff we don't need. And let's run it. Oh yeah, I copied no modules and that doesn't work. So let's reinstall. Ah, looks good. So the next thing to do is bring in the image component. And change the feed data to add that image. Nope, oh, I gotta go spread that comps object. And it works. How cool is that? Now, if you were to really do this, you'd probably want another JSON file that has a map of the component types to their corresponding source URLs. And then only load those components if the feed actually references them. But I wanted to keep this pretty simple. Okay, so that was a fun one. I'm really stoked about the potential of doing this kind of stuff. This is not your everyday React. And I think that it's really cool that we can explore that. So 
If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any comments or questions or just want to talk about this and what you might want to use it for, be sure to do that down in the comments. And uh, of course, I'm always up for subscribers. And if you really like these advanced FE topics, just be sure to click on that bell icon and subscribe and get notifications uh, about when new videos come out. And of course, just be good to each other.